So welcome back to the channel everyone and uh, reporting for duty is Gregorio here um, covering for Lamb Chop. Um, so apologies for that but thanks for joining anyway and today uh, I'm doing and lucky enough to be doing a review of the 2024 Yamaha MT-09. So yeah, not, not an in-depth review. This is gonna be a ride around my impressions, really just from a sort of rideability point of view. What does that engine feel like? How did the, you know, the sort of riding position, the handling characteristics, how does that feel? The pegs are further back than on the 2023 and previous models and the bars are slightly further away. Not massive amounts, but I think it's to make it slightly less upright and a slightly more aggressive riding position. I think the exhaust is different. It is, sorry to say, um, well, it's pretty hideous, I think, isn't it, really? There is no exhaust, basically. It's just this sort of box with a hole in. But we don't worry about such things because, obviously, that could be replaced. But anyway, if getting a view of the 2024 MT-09 is of interest, please sit back, relax, and if you don't mind, Shopsy, roll the intro. Right, so here we are, jumping aboard the Yamaha MT-09, three cylinder. And uh, it's meant to be a bit of a torque fest, this engine, so let's see. Lots of information on the dashboard. Pretty nice layout, I'd say, nice and clear. Don't know how it's coming out on camera, but in the flesh, it's pretty good. Cruise control as standard on this bike, which is really, really nice feature, I think, particularly for longer rides. Uh, seat feels well certainly at a standstill pretty good so let's have a go slightly strange um, indicator arrangement so it's all this big toggle button here push it once to go and again to turn it off but soon get used to it I quite like it actually obviously full quick shift the blipper and uh, it's very smooth actually and already just in that sort of initial pull away, just the initial impressions, the engine feels nice. I'm not just talking about the sort of torquey feeling, but you, it's got a nice, you can feel a little bit of engine vibration, not in an annoying way, just in a slight characterful way. The riding position is definitely, definitely still just a sort of naked bike and having not ridden the previous uh, year model, it still feels pretty upright to me. I would imagine the 2023 and, beyond, and previous versions would be seriously upright. Uh, the pegs are quite, quite low. It's very, very comfortable and the seat feels nice and wide. So what's the roll longs like? Fourth gear? <laughs> it's certainly got plenty to go. One thing I can tell you is <laughs> when you get on the gas, it definitely feels light at the front end. Definitely playful. It's got a lovely, a lovely sound. Yeah, I've done a really nice job with that uh, induction sound. I think there's some, uh, well, there are some I don't think these are fake. There's some real vents here and you're obviously getting a bit of noise through there as well. So as I say, probably won't be picking it up on the camera, but that is really nice, really engaging. It definitely feels uh, quite a bit flighty at the front when you start winding on a little bit, but you know, that's okay. I'm really impressed with the engine characteristics and the gearbox. You know, even under very light load, it all feels really smooth and nice and pleasant to use and you can just sort of go up and down the gearbox without thinking about it with ease yeah it's nice it does feel nicely made typical typical Japanese I guess and typical Yamaha definitely so second gear cruise along and I'll see what happens <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Honestly, you don't need any more than that. Oh, massive pothole there. Bloody hell. The state of some of the roads in England at the moment, honestly. 
bad enough in a car, but when you're on a bike, you need to be pretty careful actually. You can be fitting 21 inch wheels to sports bikes soon just to cope with the potholes. Yeah, it's impressively smooth this bike. And it feels, it feels so light. It really does. It's sort of crazy light. I'll have to check the specs. But there, yeah, there's no doubt about it. This is probably, I would say, about 180 kg, I would suggest. And it feels super, super light. It feels a bit toy-like, actually, at the front, I'd say. Um, so yeah, it makes it sort of effortless, particularly on some of the tight stuff. I like that. And it does feel different to the Street Triple in terms of the way that it rides. It's got a short wheelbase, this. And I think that's what adds to that sort of playfulness and the sort of front feeling quite light when you're on the power. So I like it, it's engaging. And it actually does make a lot of sense on the road. Because you just want to go out and have a bit of, a, bit of fun, a bit of a laugh. You know, and actually I, I think if you sort of consider this sort of bike, it, as a road bike, as an only bike potentially, it does quite a lot. You know, you could literally use it every day for work if that was what you needed to do. You could go out and have some fun at the weekends. You know, you've got sat nav built in to the dash, which is amazing, cruise control. So if you wanted to do some, you know, more distance riding, you really could. You know, and of course you don't get any wind protection being a naked, but you know, these day and age you can't ride that quickly anyway on the roads because of all the cameras and you know it just gets so frowned upon now i mean so i've heard i've obviously never sped in my life just to talk about the suspension a little bit and the ride so i'd say it's on on the more comfortable side so you have a reasonable amount of feeling of what's going on it's not it's not the most communication with the road but it's fine but obviously the advantage of that is it does then feel a little bit softer and it certainly rides over the bumps very nice you know but given that the bike is quite upright or the riding position is quite upright you don't feel like you're getting loads of jarring bumps through your spine or anything at all far from it so i'd say it's it's on the comfortable side and i'll tell you what in terms of pickup you know this not i mean it's a middle way i mean you, you're talking about you know just under a 900 cc so it's quite funny really it's a you know it's a pretty big engine and uh, yeah i mean in the real world you, you, it's not a case if you don't need any more this has got more than enough i would say it's, it's it's absolutely lovely it's brilliant performance and actually what they've what they built here is very very impressive while well, the jack's going for it let's chase off the jack let's see what she's like on an overtake then Perfect. You know, now that I'm getting to try all of these nice exotic bikes as well, this is very impressive, particularly at this price point. As I say, £10,100 or there or thereabouts in England. I don't know why this person <laughs> keeps breaking in front. Got a long straight. I might have to dispatch with them actually. Yeah, it's having to brake reasonably hard there. And the brakes are good. I mean, you stop, they're fine. You know, they're, they're not. They feel like they're built to a little bit of a budget, not the greatest feel, but they do the job. Yeah, so I think really at the moment my only only slight gripe is just there's just just for my taste, there's way too much play in the throttle. I think that's the issue. I don't think it's actually the fueling, it's just the way that they built so much play into this throttle. And it just makes that feel a little bit sloppy. Now, it's fine once you're actually on the roll and on the move, because obviously you just you're in the power then, but ooh, when you're when you're just pulling away from a standstill and you're going from closed throttle like this sort of on and off then it's I'm not sure I like that but I think you can normally get uh, like aftermarket clips I'm saying clips that might not be the right word just to remove that I think Chops has got one on his uh, on his 690 Supermoto and it just basically removes all of that play he, he's actually gone to the other extreme where there's not any play whatsoever which actually is not to my taste either I like a little bit yeah. 
<laughs> it's very playful and it is extremely light at the front when you start getting on the on the gas a bit. It takes a little bit of getting getting used to. I think you know it's you haven't got that much weight over the front in relative terms and you certainly notice that. And I know it's got a pretty short wheelbase and a relatively short swinging arm. I don't think there's any steering, there's no steering damper either. I've not read reports of tank slappers, but I think uh, if you've got two carried away and you hit a bit of an obscure bump at a bit of an angle, you might end up with a bit of slappage. <laughs> so that's one to consider. Yeah, what is nice about this bike actually is when you're riding it just at a constant speed, at slow speed, they've definitely um, set it up nicely with the fueling. It's very smooth, it's very easy to hold a constant speed, which I really like. And so that that is nice. They've definitely done a great job with the uh, with the engine on this bike. It rides very well. It's very smooth. I really like the triple engine. Yeah, I think I'm just wondering actually. One of the things that might be a nice modification if I owned one is maybe put some flat bars on here. You have to check that obviously everything could reach. But I think some flat bars would a make it look nicer and also it would just put you've got quite a bend here I don't know how well that comes out on the camera but it'd probably drop you by about three four centimeters and I think that for me would be just the right riding position then it's a little bit upright for my taste and it it feels like the moment you're on the gas because it then pulls you back it makes it very light in the front and I think it just needs a bit more weight over the front and I think that would just cure it and I'm really sure you could do that with relative ease so and i think that's probably what i would do you know that's not really a criticism of the bike actually that's just a personal preference you know i've ridden bikes that are significantly more expensive than this and like them a lot less which actually is saying something really I'll tell you what though, aside from bike, how good the bike is or not, riding around in the sunshine, it's so much fun, it's so nice. It makes such a nice change. It's such a long winter in England. It's so nice, the sun's finally out with a bit of warmth. And I'm really enjoying being out actually. Been happy, I won't be happy if I've been here at all. It's carrying there. I hope it's not sewage. It's all spilling out everywhere. What about the shit hitting the fan, the shit's hit the bike. So it's got a different back end 2024. Obviously, all this gubbings here would need to be removed with some tidy, but nice clean rear light now. So I guess these cut, you know, the colour of these wheels are gonna be split opinion I would imagine some people are going to like it others won't like it I think it's okay actually I don't know if I'd buy it but I don't dislike it it's a little bit it's actually the grey for me is a, I mean it's nice really per lesson but just a little bit boring I think for my taste and then as you move around to the front so you've got this you can see that sort of daytime running lights here and then the main headlight so it does look looks a bit insecty but I, I think the front end looks better than the previous gen personally I think that looks that looks good I don't know whether you can get some sort of cowl that connects there I'm sure you probably can from Yamaha but if you can't then it'll be aftermarket stuff so yeah it looks uh looks all right doesn't it looks all right what is good about these sort of middle weightish bikes is they're so they're so easy to handle you just want to turn it around and it's so easy it really is and actually when you just sort of you know lay it over a little bit like that it feels very nice doesn't feel like it's going to fall in it just feels really natural they've done a nice job well impressed four beams on not impressed with that Let's see what it's like around this bit of road it's a nice bit of road this 
little bit of a rise here. Well, hey! Hey! <laughs> so how would I summarise my initial impressions of the Yamaha MT-09? Honestly, really, really pretty good, pretty impressive. It's just an easy bike to ride. It's got plenty of plenty of power, plenty of torque, plenty of grunt. It's quite playful. Um, it's a little bit light at the front, I think, when you're cracking on a little bit, but that's because of the short wheelbase and the fact that obviously there's not that much weight over the front still, even with the slightly lower bars that this latest model has. You know, am I blown away by it? I'm not blown away by it. I think it's a very good, capable bike that would be something that's very easy to live with. And I think for just a smidging over 10,000 great British pounds, it's a good price. It's a really good price. It's, it's fun. You could certainly keep up with anybody on any bike on the road without any problems at all. I don't think you'd regret buying one. Uh, I think if you were prepared to spend a little bit more and get the SP version when it comes out for around two and a half thousand pound more, then you've even got fairly exclusive looks, if you will. You know, this looks fairly sort of basic with a sort of, you know, just a one color and then it's different color wheels uh, do I think it's better than the Triumph Street triple which I'm putting up as its biggest and most direct competitor it's a tough one I think for my tastes I prefer the riding position of the Triumph overall I think it feels m more natural you've got a little bit more weight over the front and it feels more super naked -y, if you will. But having said that, this is probably more comfortable for more normal riding. And what I mean by that is, you know, for more rounded riding, commuting to work, going to the shops and using it as a, in a utilitarian way. Um, I think it's really good. Definitely impressed with what Yamaha have produced on a relatively small budget bike, relatively speaking, in today's day and age so I think if you're if you're in the market for a middleweight naked and you don't want to spend silly money my recommendation would be definitely add this to your shortlist thanks to chops for letting me do yet another video I hope uh, some of my rambling was of interest and gave you some insights into what it's like but obviously if you want to see for yourself go and test ride one from your nearest Yamaha dealer and we'll leave it there see you soon everybody thanks very much bye bye